wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Trinity Church on the second Sunday of Advent. And now this morning we're going to light two candles for the two Sundays of Advent. And how many do we have left after we light two of them? We have two more Sundays to go, right, until what was going to happen after we light all these candles? What will happen? Does anybody know? What's going to, who's coming? Is it the Christmas? Is it St. Nicholas is coming? Yes. And baby Jesus is coming. Baby Jesus is coming. When we light all four candles, baby Jesus will be coming. Great, thank you. All right. Let us pray. Beloved in Christ, as we await the great festival of Christmas, let us prepare ourselves so that we may be shown its true meaning. Let us hear in lessons from Holy Scripture how the prophets of Israel conveyed God's promise of redemption and healing for his waiting people. Let us rejoice in our carols and hymns that the good purpose of God is being mightily fulfilled. Let us celebrate the promise that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will bring all people and all things into the glory of God's eternal kingdom. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor receive ministry and hope. But first, let us pray for the world which God so loves, for those who have not heard the good news of God or do not believe it, for those who walk in darkness and the shadow of death, and for the church in this place and everywhere, that it may be freed from all evil and fear and may in pure joy lift up the light of the love of God. These prayers and praise us praises let us humbly offer to God in the words which Christ himself taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not
A reading from Genesis. Okay, thank you. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God say you shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made lion cloths for themselves. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called out to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I condemned, commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave me to be with, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, Cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put an enmity between you and the woman, between your offspring and hers. He will strike you on the head, and you will strike his heel. The word of the Lord. A reading from Baru. The scribe Baru urges the people to look east because salvation is at hand. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the joy that is coming to you from God. Look, your children are coming, whom you sent away. They are coming, gathered from the east and west, at the word of, Ho of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of God. Take off the garment of your sorrow and affliction, O Jerusalem, and put on for, forever the beauty of the glory from God. Put on the robe of righteousness that comes from God. Put on your head the diadem of glory of the everlasting. 
for your for God will show your splendor everywhere under heaven. For God will give ever more the name. Righteous peace, godly glory. Arise, O Jerusalem, stand upon the height. Look towards the east and see your children gathered from the west and east. The glory, the word of the Holy One rejoicing that God has remembered them. For they went out from you on foot, led away by their enemies. But God will bring them back to you, carried in glory, as on the holy throne. For God has ordered that every high mountain and the everlasting hills be made low, and the valleys filled up, to make level ground, so that Israel may walk safely in the glory of God. The woods and every fragrant, tr fragrant tree have shaded Israel as God's command. For God will lead Israel with joy in the light of his glory, with the mercy and righteousness that comes from him. The word of the Lord. From Isaiah. Again the Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God, let it be deep as Shiloh or as high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, it is too little for you to weary, to weary mortals, that you weary my God also. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. He shall eat curds and honey by the time he knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your room and bear a son. You will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord. Director of Children's Ministries. So, Come on over. Judy. Come on over. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Thank you. 
It's starting to feel and look a lot like Christmas, isn't it? With the beautiful decorations, Christmas trees, maybe lights in, the, in your windows. What are your favorite things? What's your favorite thing about Christmas? What's your favorite thing? My elf. Your elf! Do you have an elf on the shelf? I love that. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? My family. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, that's a good answer. What's your favorite thing? Our elf. You, you have the elf too? Because it's your brother, right? Yes? How many of you have elves? That, that's amazing. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? What's your favorite thing? Um, my Christmas tree. Oh, I bet it's beautiful. What's your favorite? I also have a Christmas tree. That's wonderful. What's your favorite thing? I I like I like to play with my daddy. That's a beautiful answer. What's your favorite thing? Christmas carols. Christmas carols. What's your favorite thing? Um, being with my family for Christmas. That's so beautiful. What's your favorite thing? My presents. <laughs> That's the answer I was waiting for. <laughs> gifts. Gifts. How many of you like to get gifts at Christmas time? Yeah, what's one of your best gifts you ever, ever got? What's one of your best? Elsa's likes vanity. Oh, wow. What's one of your best gifts you ever got? My family. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. How many of you like to give gifts on Christmas? I'm so happy. I do too. Why do you think we give gifts on Christmas? Why do we give gifts on Christmas? Why? Why do we give gifts? What is that showing the people that you're giving a gift to? What are you trying to show them? What are you showing them? Love. Beautiful. Exactly. When we give gifts, we are showing the people that we love them. Well, the lesson today is that Jesus is the greatest gift of all because our Heavenly Father so loved the world. And that means you and 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 you. He so loved the world that he gave the gift of his, of his only begotten Son, right? Jesus. Can we give gifts to Jesus? Can we give Jesus a gift? The, the wise men who came to see Jesus, they brought him gifts to show how special he is. Can we give him gifts? I'm going to start. Can I start? I'm going to tell you a gift I'd like to give Jesus. My gift is that I promise to try my best to be the best teacher I can be. Who would like to say what their gift would be? You? What? I, I, uh, I like to, I like to give him hugs. That's a really, really great gift. What? I like to celebrate Jesus' birthday. That's a beautiful gift, by celebrating his birthday. Can you repeat after me? Jesus is the greatest gift of all. Jesus is the greatest gift of all. Thank you, Father, for bringing us this gift too wonderful for words. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Stoner. <laughs> Stay here. Stay here. Now, we're all going to say, stand and say the Children's Creed, and we'll, we'll lift up our hands, and we'll say, repeat after me, I believe in God above. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe the Spirit, too. 
I believe the Spirit, too, comes to teach me what to do. Comes to teach me what to do. God be in my head. God be in my head. God be in my heart. God be in my heart. God be in my whole life. God be in my whole life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, children. You're going to stay up here for one more minute? Stay up here for one more minute. Wow, we do the prayers of oh. people. Um, o oh God, in days to come, the mountain of our house will be established and your joy shall reign. We pray for the church and its leaders, especially for our bishops, Michael, Ian, and Laura, that you might teach us your ways and that we might walk in your path. Come, Lord Jesus, and hear our prayer. Out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and you, O oh God, shall judge between the nations. We pray for our nation and all nations that your peace shall would be manifest in every corner of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus, and hear our prayer. In your kingdom, O Lord, wolves lie down with the lambs and children play with serpents without fear. We pray for the sick, the suffering, and those in distress of any kind, especially Steve Madison, Jimmy Stanek, John, Mary Wilson, Misha Hill, Claudia, Sean Sullivan, Lucy, Janet and Dorothy, that you would heal all in injuries, comfort all grief, and settle all wrongs. C who else in need do we pray for? Who would you like to pray for? Children, anybody wants to pray for someone? Who? My puppy. Her puppy. Anybody else? Who? Jesus. Jesus. Anybody else? Jesus God. Jesus God. Anybody else? God. God. Thank you. Okay, girls, let's go. Um, come, Lord Jesus, and, and hear our prayer. Lord. In your kingdom, O oh Lord, even the wilderness and dry land are glad and rejoice. We pray for those who rejoice this week that they might obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and insight sighing might flee away. What joys do we give thanks for? Um, I give thanks for the wedding yesterday of um, Daryl and Nancy McPherson's daughter, Amy, to Anthony Paterno at Grace Church White Plains. Thanks be to God. Which, what are you thankful for, children? What? My friends. His friends. Jesus. Jesus. What are you thankful? Like You're thankful for butterflies? Okay. Okay, anything else? Thank you. Come, Lord Jesus, and hear, and hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the fullness of time, O oh God, you sent your son to be born of our sister Mary, and his name was Emmanuel, God with us. We thank you for your presence with us, and we pray that you might always be present with those those whom we love but see no longer. Come, Lord Jesus, and hear our prayer. Lord, hear the prayers of your people, and what we've asked faithfully may you grant effectually through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Children, you can move on. But children, I would like you just to stay up here one more minute. Yes, uh, my okay. fault. My, my fault. Oh my gosh. Um, my fault. Where did Rob go? <laughs> Rob? Do you want to introduce? Uh, I think there's a special visitor today that Rob is going to introduce. Would St. Nicholas like to come forward and say hello? <laughs> oh, children, who's this? St. <laughs> Nicholas, also sometimes called Santa Claus here. Now, Something you might not know is that St. Nicholas is the saint for children. So he loves you very much. And after, right after the service, we're all going to meet him in the parish hall. And if he might have a small treat for you. <gasps> it's pretty exciting. <laughs> and then once you've got your treat from St. Nicholas, 
you're going to come right back here for our pageant rehearsal, which is next Sunday at 4 p.m. So thank you, St. Nicholas, and thank you, children. I understand St. Nicholas came all the way from Myra in Turkey to be with us today. It's a long That's trip. where he's from. So we, we're really grateful to St. Nick. <laughs> He's also the patron saint of sailors of Scotland and Russia. Did you know that? So anyway, kids, you can go sit down now. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> we have a few announcements today. First of all, um, welcome to Trinity on the second Sunday of Advent, our annual Advent lessons and carol service, and also our Youth and Family Sunday, so lots happening today. And we're, we're grateful for your presence, for your prayers uh, all together. Um, Robert has a special announcement about something happening tonight. Right, uh, this afternoon at 4 o'clock, the next event in our Music Under the Spire series, we have a barbershop quartet, uh, the Newfangled Four. Uh, they are known for doing uh, fun arrangements of well-known uh, classics, barbershop, and otherwise they'll be doing some Christmas, uh, uh, some Christmas tunes. Um, and they're, they're engaging and they're lots of fun. I encourage you to come. It'll be a great way to, uh, to, to get your Christmas, to, to, to get yourself in the Christmas spirit. Hope to see you there. Uh, tickets will be available after church. Thank you. Our uh, Time to Serve 2020 is our stewardship campaign for this year, and I want to encourage everyone who hasn't had a chance to, to send in your pledge packet, which should have come in the mail. Um, I want to thank um, Victor Hewitt, who is here today. Just wave your hand. He designed this whole packet for us, and he's just such an awesome artist, at giving his time and gifts to Trinity this way. We're so grateful. Um, also, we have uh, next Sunday is, does anybody know what's happening next Sunday at 4 o'clock? The pageant, yes. So everyone, I hope that you can come back for our pageant next Sunday at 4. Also, you'll, you may have received one of these cards in the mail. This is a new effort from our Strategic Planning Committee chair, Ruth France, who designed it, and um, it's gone to the whole zip code. But if you didn't get one, there, there's some in the lobby, and it's just a way for us to invite the whole neighborhood to join us for our Christmas celebrations and for Newfangled Four and the pageant. And um, so it's a, it's a new idea and kind of fun. I wanted to tell you about it. Um, and then uh, Wendy Ryan is here and would like to share something about a tree Thank you, Wendy. And lastly, Judy Proctor is here. She's the co-chair of our outreach committee, and she's got a special announcement to share. Um, where's the mic? Uh, Treasurer Sean Wooten's uh, groundbreaking gun policy announcement. And it, well, outreach has been working with uh, Connect, which is Connecticut, uh, is congregations organized for a new Connecticut, um, a very powerful uh, interfaith group of Muslim, Jewish, and Christians, um, and we jointly work together on specific issues uh, at the state at the state level. Uh, Treasurer Wooten, who himself lost his nephew six months before Sandy Hook. Uh, he comes to the cause with passion and clarity, and his, 
He's using his power of the purse to really change the direction of gun violence in our state. So I encourage you, we, are, we want to enlarge our participation, so if you're interested in this, in this effort, please reach out um, and, and talk to all of us. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Judy. Our congregation stands against gun violence, and you'll see the beautiful wreath here on the pulpit that was donated by the Nessel family. Um, it commemorates the uh, adults with the red roses who were lost that day at the shooting, and the white roses are all the children who, who died that day. So we'll, we'll have that up for the next Sunday as well. Um, today, we're not having communion because this is lessons and carols. However, there will be communion in the chapel immediately following the service. So if on your way to coffee hour you'd like to join us for a communion, please do. Um, any other announcements? Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God.
messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation. Give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Receive the blessing. Life is short, and we do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those who make the journey with us. So be swift to love, make haste to be kind, and the blessing of God who loves us, who travels with us, who is there always for us, be with you in this Advent season and forevermore. Amen. Thank you.